Lincoln Road, Miami Beach. Yes, sir. Steve, South Beach. Steve Roth Bernardo sold Lincoln Road building for $94 million, nearly 30% less than what they paid a decade ago. I'm showing a picture right now. That's the Lincoln Road movie theater, I guess. Yeah, right? at the Regal Cinema, uh, which is anchored a retail building on Lincoln Road, uh, which said it before, discounted for $93.6 million. Uh, Bernardo sold the property, 1100 Lincoln Road, to an affiliate of Steve Galzini's BH Properties, which are based out of L.A. Uh, the price is 29% less than $132 million Bernardo paid for the building in 2012. So we got to say, like, that's probably one of the only buildings right now, uh, just to talk for South Florida, that probably has decreased over time. We're cool. coming over this crazy increase in sales and rents and every you know everything has been robust and here you go lincoln road retail is taking a 29 percent hit from 132 million back in 2012 to 93.6 million why well that's the next sentence it comes on the heels of the affiliated of bh properties buying the property mortgage in december from Lender Credit Agricole Corporation, an investment bank based in Paris, the record showed. Bernardo, which had publicly traded, reported that it defaulted last April on an $82.8 million non-recourse loan on the building, according to filing to a Security and Exchange Commission. But this so makes sense. Yeah, this now is, it makes sense. This is, but this is, you know, this is a movie theater. Nobody went to the movies. I just went to my first movie since COVID. Is that true? Go to another movie before that. Oh, just nice. saw uh, the new Tom Cruise, um, Maverick. Maverick, I think it's amazing. Yeah, you gotta I, see it. I want to see son. it. I'm dying to go see it. I haven't had a chance it's to go great. yet. It's yeah. great. So it makes sense. You're right. Movie theater, um, Lincoln Road. Yeah. We all know that in the past what five six years, maybe the last. They said it was renovated in 2017. Tenants include Ben and Jerry's, uh, Romero Brito's Gallery. Very very popular artist in uh, Miami. Right. And Casper, I guess Casper, the friendly of Casper, the, I guess the mattress. Still several tenants have closed after Bernardo sued them for unpaid rent 2020 during the pandemic, including Ben and Republic and Lauderay. The cases have been resolved. Court filing show. Um, so this is a classic call. case of how the pandemic. This, this is still kind of a residual uh collateral because of the pandemic yeah right? man, that's it that's, that's an impact right you know huge that's, impact i mean banana republic i mean this this isn't just small mom and pop uh stores here uh a lot of air regal cinema i mean it's huge um it says right here, South Florida retail market has been rebounding following the pandemic-induced slump with Miami-Dade County's first quarter vacancy rate hitting 3.7%. That's great. That's very strong. Down from 4.5% during the same period last year, according to Collier's report. There, there you, you go. go. Asking rents average $40 per square foot, not Lincoln Road, and up to 11.4% from 36. This is, They're talking about fully across well, yeah. South Florida. Um, Lincoln Road, probably around there, is getting anywhere from seventy-five to one hundred and twenty-five dollars a square foot for retail. I mean, that's prime. They they just built something across um, um, Alton Road right there, and then I just appraised the new. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about it, but the proposed development from uh, Shovu um, right you know, down there. And then, and then we've had conversations with various lenders who reach out to us to pick our brains about what's going on on Lincoln Road, and it's a mix of things going on. Yeah. And and it and it's interesting because if you look at this is a good spot in Lincoln Road. This is not this is the heart a good of Lincoln. Spot. It's amazing. It, it, yeah. And, and, and to hear here. and to hear that it's the anchor, they say. Yeah, exactly. But you know, you would think that by now with the movie theater starting to come back, the question I would ask on this, mm. you know, what's the condition of the movie theater? Because nowadays it's always been good. It's always been a good I've never been but, to that but movie theater. Here's the thing. If you go to new movie theaters now, like I haven't been to the one in Brickell, but I went in the one downtown, which mm -hmm. is right by Whole Foods over there. It was amazing. I'm talking big recliner chairs, like big, like this big. Right. Recline, plenty of space, the swivel tops. They're making an experience The now. waitress is there before the movie starts. Full bar outside. You can go there with a date, sit at the full bar, and it's nice. It's not like 
you know, like there's a little bar in the corner. No, this is nice. I ordered like a Philly cheesesteak. They had chicken and bacon, avocado sandwiches. We, I didn't even eat popcorn. But you know what's we crazy? We had a beer, a craft beer, an IPA. I had a Philly cheesesteak all before the movie started. Watched the movie. It was full. Great movie. Great experience. Now that you mentioned that, it's funny. It's Miami funny. Beach is not that. Miami Beach, though, that movie theater does have a VIP um, theater, one of them. Right. So they do have that, not to this standard. Mm-hmm. And it would be smart for them to kind of gravitate or pivot to that. I think that's what most movie theaters are doing now. Well, and it's funny you say that because. It's a better experience. Correct. I've been in Miami now back three years. Okay. Most of you know out there, I lived in Dallas for five. Now, my first movie experience in Dallas was in 2015. It was that exact formula. And if you go to a movie theater in Texas, at least in the Dallas Metroplex, they're all like that. Full bar, uh, waitress service, full yeah, recliner it's chairs. Amazing. It's a formula it. that you want to go to the movie theater. It's not the old days of sticky floors and, you know, stale popcorn and $10 hot dogs. It's they're actually making it more of a enjoyable experience. It's like they're incorporating a night, a night out in one spot. Before, rather than go to a restaurant and then go to the movies, they want you to do both in one location. Um, and, but, but it's interesting because now with this transaction, I'm curious to see what they're going to do with the movie theater space. Because the rest of the retail space, we know that eventually that's going to be recapitalized. Somebody's going to come in. They're going to take that. I'm not concerned about that. I'm curious to see what's going to happen with this movie theater space. It's still going to be a movie theater. Yeah. They're not saying that it's. Not gonna be a movie theater. Well, I didn't read that. I didn't read that either. I'm just saying. He just in, sold for a just, loss. This is just. You know I mean, in, just, my, this is just my opinion. I'm sitting there going, they're probably gonna look, come if in. They're, if they're, if they're proposed development across the street, mm-hmm. you know, with those rents, yeah, they're proposed Class A development across the street, a hundred dollars is triple net for office, with seventy dollars, seventy five dollars retail on the bottom floor. For sure. And then brand new retail across the street as well. With now they're they're, they're gonna do like a outdoor um um cinema outdoor. Like what is it called? Like a like a like, like a, a yeah, drive up. Yeah, the new concept, on the top concept where you you go to the roof or something like that. Yeah. And you you know, in the yep. nighttime, yep. Set, you know, lay out yep. the blanket, get the waiter services. So, not, so there's a lot of sin energy right there. Um so I just think they're gonna need to revamp it, rethink it. On, on, you know, they need to renovate it like a multifamily. Yeah, house. yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's it. But they, uh, look, I, I lived on the beach when there was no, when that movie theater didn't exist. That's been the only movie theater on the beach. And we had to go to Coconut Grove to go see movies. So we, and that was in the '90s that they put that in there. So yeah, it needs. It's time to you know revamp, yeah. pivot, get get back up to you know modern stuff of what's going on, and compete with you know. But, but they can they can do it. Yeah, no doubt.